everybody and welcome back to my channel. In this video we are going to be comparing these two primers by the brand Fenty. And this is the previous one that it was the Instant Retouch Primer and this is the brand new one Mattifying Primer by obviously Fenty. And we also are going to be using all the products that I have from the brand in my collection including the foundation. To start, I'm going to moisturize my face like every time that I'm trying to do a first impression of products, I try to use similar products. So last time I used this Kate and I want to use this as my moisturizer. So this is the Goat Milk and I'm going to be using my REN Clean Screen Mineral FPF 30 for my FPF. So on my left, I'm going to be using the brand new primer. On my right, I'm going to be using the previous primer. Let's open the brand new primer and see the difference. So if you notice, it's the same beautiful packaging, glass packaging of Fenty that they normally use for all the face products or primer and foundation. And this is the previous one. So as you see, the only difference is the color of the primer. Let's share the consistencies. So definitely the colors are completely different and the consistency also is different. If you notice the previous primer is more thick and also let me try to see if the camera can focus. Also this one is more thick, the previous one and the brand new one is more liquided. So this is how they look like. I'm going to apply on my left one, on my right the other one. And let's see how it performs. So now let's put the foundation and I have mine in the shade 210, which I think is a little dark for me, but for now this is the one that we have. And to apply, I'm going to be using my Beauty Blender. This foundation is going to oxidize a little bit. Right now it looks fine for me and that's why I have the wrong shade because now it's perfect. In a couple of minutes, it's gonna oxidize more, so that's why I need to go to Sephora and get a sample of the color that I think it will be better for me after oxidation, which is 190. That's what I think, so I will give you an update on that later in maybe in a future video, but for now, it looks fine. Let's just continue the makeup. So the person that I'm gonna be using from Fenty that I have, I have this beautiful blush in the shade Mango Chili, this is a recent purchase for me and I really like it. I'm going to be using this. I'm going to be using the setting powder of Fenty. <laughs> and this is in the shade Butter. I'm going to be using the bronzer and my bronzer is in the shade Chevy's Beast. Obviously not the order, but I'm going to be using their concealer and I have the concealer in the shade 200. I also have from the collection Diamond Bum How Many Carrots um, Highlighter. And I have Diamond Milk and I'm gonna be using all these products and I'm going to apply it on my face and I'm gonna come back later in the day to let you know what I think about the primer, which primer performed better and keep in mind that my skin is combo to oil and well, let's see how these two primers perform. All right guys, this is how my face looks like after 10 hours of wearing these two primers and Fenty foundation. So as a reminder, I'm using this one in my left side and I'm using the old one or the previous one in my right side. And the things that I can tell you about these two primers this one, the right one, I mean, sorry, the left one, the brand new primer, it kind of like helps to apply the foundation easier than the older one. So I like that about it. Also, I can see that my makeup is to stay together more time. I, st I still see my foundation all over my left side, while on my right side, 
I don't have foundation in this area anymore for some reason. So it was it was harder to blend the foundation and I don't have foundation in this eye anymore. On my nose and my T-zone, I'm completely oily in both sides. My nose area looks very cakey and very unflattering. That doesn't look good. And both foundation, the oils went through normally. The only thing that I see is actually how the foundation stay put in this area versus this area. And the application of the foundation on top of the primer. Also, I noticed after I applied this, the this primer has 30 milliliters and this one has 32 milliliters. So Keep in mind the brand new one has less product for the same price, which is $32. So as a final thought, I don't think that you need to buy the brand new primer if you already have the old one. So what I recommend to you if you're really interested for these primers is to go to Sephora. If you have a Sephora close by, hopefully you can ask for a sample for both of them. The sample that they will give you will be enough for three or four times use and you can make your mind out of those samples. All right, guys, I hope that this video was informative for all of you and help you to make your mind out of these two primers. I know it wasn't the perfect 100% different situation, but again, I still give you a little more in depth about these two primers and their differences. So if you like this video, please give a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, give me a comment down below and let me know what you think about it. And also give me a comment about what other videos you would like to see in this channel. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.